Good evening. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Once again, I want to give you some really enlightening thought and words that will cause you to think. And I want to say this before we get into this. That in order for you to effectively, to effectively be effective in this society, in the kingdom of God, you have to first lose all those traditions, uh, ceremonial uh, 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 customs that intrude on the kingdom, on your kingdom mindset. It's very important that you be detoxed from all these things. You cannot, what I've found, what I've found since I've been teaching this and, 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 and watching my brother and uh, Dr. Miles Monroe and, 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 and reading up on Dr. Uh, uh, e. Stanley Jones, and what I've discovered is this thing, that many of you, many of the churches here, they seem to want to mix in their customs, their traditions with the kingdom of God. Let me set this for set 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 this before you now. That the kingdom of God is not a religion. It's how you live. It's standing firm on God's word. The kingdom of God within you means that you are that representation, that ambassador to speak on the behalf of God's word and his kingdom. Because God's word is not suggestions, they're law. For that very reason, that's why we have eternal damnation and eternal life. Now let me explain that to you so you can get an understanding. Being that we are spirit, spirits can't die. But what the Father will do, he will separate the sheep from the wolf. In other words, they will be in a place where there will be an internal punishment for eternity. That's why. Eternal damnation. Spirits can't die, but they will be in punishment for the duration of eternity. And the people of God will live in life and they will have it more abundantly. So it's very important that how you live and who you obey while you're here on this earth now, how you affect others is very important because you will answer to it. That's why I always guard my life with the Word of God. I always go back to it. And after you read the Word of God for so many times, past seven, it becomes a part of you. You become conscious of how you live amongst your brothers and sisters. You look. Now, let us go on about detoxing, getting away, getting all this stuff away that's going to hinder you from embracing God's Word. I always say the simple fact is that you must obey the word. That's the key, key factor to your life. Many of you don't obey it. You read it, pass it up. You look at it as a religious, a religious philosophy. You do what you want to do, and you keep chucking on down the line. Well, guess what? You will reward. Guess what? You're going to re re be rewarded for that. I don't call you. It's, gonna, it's not going to be something you can smile at and grin to. Accountability is what ambassadors are about. Speak the word. Embrace the word of God. It's not a religion. Christianity is a religion. Hindu is a religion. Islam is a religion. Jehovah Witnesses is a religion. All these denominations, Baptists, Church of God, all of these, our denomination, they are religion. But when you are living and embrace the kingdom concept, you realize that it's about obeying and doing what God has put in your heart to do. Because every one of us have a purpose. And it's only when you draw close to the Father 
that you'll embrace that purpose. But first, you have to be detoxed from all of that. And that's through studying the word. Matthew, the third chapter. Now we read. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, repent. In other words, turn around. This is the same concept of detoxing. It's a process. Turn around. You're going the wrong way. Listen. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In other words, it's, it, 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 it's there. It's, 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 it's coming. It's, it's, it's at hand. It's at your door. Listen. For this is he who was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Now, don't take that word Lord lightly. He is the Lord of the universe. This is his land. The earth is his land. In order for one to be a king, he must have domain. A domain is land. And with that dominion, are you feeling me here? Dominion, authority. Jesus has authority. Let us go on. Make his path straight. In other words, clear out all the rubbish. When a king comes in, you, we, oh my God. When you, when the king walks, make his way path. He won't have no sticks, no stumbles, nothing. Smooth sailing. Why? He is the king. He's the Lord God Almighty. Yes, sir. Make his path. Get your mind in a state where you can say the word and get all the other things out there. If you have any questions, that's why God uh, uh, calls some to be teachers so they can help you out. For those of you who, who are not yet there, you're not having allowed the Holy Spirit to guide your life. And I'm going to tell you something right now. The Holy Spirit will guide you if you submit your way to his way. Remember, the Holy Spirit is an extension of God in your life. That's why Jesus told the disciples, go in Jerusalem and wait here until the helper come. Because you need that. Don't depend. You see, I'm just here temporarily to get you going, to get you going, to get you going, to get you a, a foothold on the kingdom concept. But as I help you get along, you must learn to embrace God's word and embrace the concept. Miles, Dr. Miles Monroe is a great teacher in that. You know, he teaches, he's constantly teaching some things. He's not redundant because I find that if you don't go over things, over things, people just don't get it. You, you just don't, you, you miss it. And if you miss it by an inch, it's just like you missed it by a mile. The concept of the kingdom of God is that once you embrace that concept and study it, the word of God will come alive to you. Things that you couldn't understand before, verses that you couldn't understand before, now you see it fits right into place. That's the purpose of the kingdom concept. And this concept was brought on by God. One more thing before I leave this session. In the days of the Crusades, they had the kings and land and over in Europe and lands and all this. Not over here in this country, not in America, but in England, in Europe. They had the kings, they had the kingdoms, they had property. Even though that was a, a, a shadow of what the kingdom of God is, but it still was mismanaged. Still was mismanaged. Until next time, uh, we'll talk about this a little further. You have a nice day and God bless you in every way of your life. Thank you.